we welcome all uh, i think nine now the right now i am uh, visible right okay okay see in the today's class uh, we will start this crystal structure part number 2 right this thing we will start in the today's class so before starting the class uh, uh, i would like to request you guys please hit the like button share with your friends and subscribe the channel okay the our course now going is material science it is a lecture number 6 and crystal structure it's a part 2 la in the last class we have discussed about the part 1 okay the part 2 now will the crystal structure like base uh, simple cubic base centered cubic uh, face centered hexagonal packed this all things we have discussed in the last class right so now we will move ahead and let me see see what we have discussed in the simple simple cubic let me uh, revise it once again see in the simple cubic simple cubic see in the simple cubic structure right there are four uh, there are eight atoms at the corners here right so this is how the simple cubic structure looks like right these are the eight atoms right let me draw it with neat sketch so that you will get understand this i will take uh, yes this i will take and with this yes it is now yeah this is a see the atoms are sitting in this here the atoms are sitting here like this right See here, the, at the corner, the atoms are sitting in a simple cubic. See, the atoms are big, but in order to, you know, guys, understand, I created its zoom. The atoms are very touching to each other, but in uh, to understand you guys, this thing like this, I have showed you here. Okay, it, it is how the simple. See here, uh, here there will be the attraction between these atoms, right? The electrons. and the electrons which are revolving around this atom there will be the attraction the force of the attraction all right uh, okay and here see if i draw this okay there will be a space here also right so the void is also uh, see here this is my one atom okay the other atom is like this right the this is the front view this view i am showing you okay i am showing in this direction and this view i am showing you here right like this atoms we are looking see this is what the void space right between this atoms this void space this is what the void space there will not be anything here right so this space is a uh, void space so in this see see if i take a one unit cell in this right i have to take like this right so this is what my unit cell so if the atom the radius of the atom is r right for this and this r so here in this case my a will be right a means the one side of this right this a will be a equal to that is 2 r here my a will be see here in this case all this a right a in simple cubic a the length a this length b right and the c this all are equal in this case in simple cubic means a equal to b side which is equal to c side in simple cubic right now if i talk about the coordination number c the coordination number for this uh, as, uh, see the unit cell this a will be the 2r right so the coordination number that is a cn coordination number will be how much coordination number for this see one atom is sitting at coordination mean neighboring atom suppose this atom i considering this is what the one atom which is neighbor the second right uh, the, this is a third right similarly in the upper side there will be one in this side okay plane to the paper into the paper or uh, towards me right this is one more here right this will be the okay this uh, uh how many how many then coordination number will be see this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44
5 and 6 in the upward so the coordination number will be 6 right so the a is 2r the coordination number is 6 for simple cubic right now we will see the number of atoms per unit cell let me go to the next slide number of atoms in simple cubic number of atoms per unit cell per unit cell how many number of let's see this is the third okay so the number of atoms per unit cell uh, uh, see in the per unit cell how many see here i will explain you okay see in the unit cell uh, this is right uh, the one fourth portion of this one fourth portion of this right again here around the eight one fourth by eight means uh, there are eight unit cells right so so the number of atoms per unit cell will be eight right <laughs> 8 in all corners then if I make it the 1 by 8 right it's a 1 4 then 1 by 8 I will make so 8 units cell right sharing one atom 8 unit cells 8 unit cell among one atom among one atom right means one unit right that is one by eighth atom right so this is so 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 how many uh, right you understood this so the number of atoms per unit cell will be so number of number of atoms per unit cell which is equal to eight into one by eight right so it is it will be the one Okay, the one will be number of atoms per unit cell. Now we will see the fourth that is atomic packing factor in the simple cubic. Fourth is atomic packing factor, right? This is called atomic packing factor. Okay, the atomic packing factor. Okay, see this atomic packing factor that is the AF. This defines the density of the material, right? How the material is densely packed. So, see the in the simple cubic, the volume of the one atom will be R is the radius of the atom. R is radius radius of an atom, right? If I talk the volume of one atom, how much it is? Volume of one atom which is equal to that is 4 by 3 pi r cube right this is the volume of one atom so the atomic packing factor will be that is APF atomic packing factor which is equal to volume volume occupied by atoms right volume occupied by atoms to the to the volume of unit cell right volume of unit cell right so so how we will calculate in case of this uh, see uh, see the volume occupied by atoms right how much it is that is which is equal to that is n right the number of the atoms in that number of atoms into that is the volume of one atom right so divide by this is the volume of unit cell is the one side is a so it is a a cube right you understood now so see the number of atoms in one unit cell we have calculated that is that is one right in simple cubic it's that is four by three pi r cube and what is a a is a two r so two r cube so if you calculate this then you will get the answer that is pi by 6 okay pi by 6 which is equal to 0 0.52 okay so the atomic factor in simple cubic is 0 0.52 right clear no any doubts in this so almost 50 percent or 48 percent is uh, spaces in the in the simple cubic the 48 percent space is the vacant place right it's a void over there 
right so the only this see in the simple cubic the only one in the periodic table if you look into the periodic in periodic table in periodic table in periodic table the only polonium polonium is a substance substance right found in found in a simple cubic right the only the polonium is this substance comes under this now the next uh, okay now i will tell you how to calculate the density once you understood this uh, then we will see how to calculate this density also let me see the theoretical density how we will calculate this theoretical theoretical density see the theoretical density we know what the density is mass per unit volume right so it is a mass of volume of the crystal right that is what the we see so we know that is one mole right uh, uh, suppose i cal one mole uh, how much mass see mass of the atom suppose mass of the atoms inside the unit cell mass of atoms right mass of atoms which is equal to a right so the one mole is equal to you know this also one mole which is equal to the number of avogadro's number right so this is the avogadro's avogadro's gardo's number right the avogadro number that is 6. Point, right 023 into 10 raised to 23 right these are this is what the avogadro number means in the one mole of any substance right this is what the avogadro number this much the number of the atoms these are the avogadro number means the number of atoms present in one mole that is what the avogadro number is right you understood this <laughs> all right any doubt in up till now This is what the Avogadro's number is, right? So, so now see the one mole, right? One mole is equal to uh, that is a grams, right? It is uh, suppose one mole equal to a grams, right? Then the Na will be the Avogadro's number, right? That is equal to a grams, right? So, so means one. One atom, right? The weight of the one atom is equal to a by a by the Na grams, right? Na gram. Okay. Then mass of the unit cell will be mass of unit cell, which is equal to m n m. Sorry, it is m, which is equal to n into mass of the one atom. Mass of one atom. right you understood so see now how i will calculate with the help of this how i will calculate the density right so so you just you have to put this mass right then the volume of that then you can easily find out the theoretical density you understood okay now we'll move on to the this is what all about the simple cubic structure right now we'll move to the next that is face centered cubic the next structure is that is fcc that is face centered face centered cubic okay means the fcc structure see in the face centered cubic right the atoms let me show you once again how the atoms are sitting in this face centered cubic see this is my first i will draw a cube right so the, see in this the atoms are sitting here like this okay here along with this at the corner atoms they on all faces 
right see on the all faces suppose this is one face right this is the other face here also they everywhere there is one atom present here this is how the face centered cubic looks like right and from this if i take uh, uh, means the face centered means see the face centered means that is simple cubic right simple cubic plus atoms at the face center atoms at the face center face center right Any doubt in this up till now what I have discussed face center means see here see actually I am uh, in order to understand you I am uh, showing it too much far distance but they actually very close okay so in this also you have to find the dimensions right see in the face center see suppose this is a, I, I will take now this face let me show you I have to take a circle as to show the atoms right the one face I am taking here right this is one face right four four let me see how to copy this so that yes copy paste yes paste again i have to paste this right where is that test option is copy paste paste right paste yes now i have created three okay these are the molecules i have uh, these are the see the atoms are very close to here right so see in the face center there is a one center atom here like this and the face sitting so see this atom will be at this location right at the corner and the, the other two atoms they are the one atom is here and the other atom is here like this okay now now see now what the a distance will be let me little bit correct this like this there is a sitting arrangement right in the face centered cubic the, the face which i am uh, which i am uh, looking from this side right this is my view the view side will be okay this i am looking here now see here you have to see from this point to this point right you have to find out the radius see now the actual my a will be this right but in order to find this atomic radius right what i have to do i have to I have to find out this distance which I can easily measure right this distance so this will be the r this will be the 2r right and this will be r so how I will convert this right this length that is suppose I will this length will be the ab okay the unit cells are up to here okay I am taking the section of this so the cell dimensions if I the cell dimensions will be that is a cell dimensions cell dimensions so uh, the this is a diagonal ab right so it will be a 4r right so the ab which is equal to 4r right so so the a will be here right so let me here uh, i will do here okay so the diagonal is that is root 2 a will be my diagonal which is equal to 4r so my a will be a equal to right 4 by root 2 r which is equal to that is 2 root 2 l right so my a for this uh, face centered cubic the value of the a that which is equal to 2 root 2 r times right okay any doubt in this this will be my face centered cubic and the a the dimension a will be this is my dimension a okay now once we find out this a the next is we will see the coordination number of this face centered cubic let me go that is coordination number right the second part that is coordination number see here uh, four corner atoms are as right see the four corner atoms corner atoms and plus four lower faces and four upper faces right four lower 
this is and plus four upper faces upper faces right this will comes in picture so the coordination number for this will be it's a 12 okay see the two comes from here lower faces right for the upper uh, this is the core atoms are four so from the core atoms we will get the one atom from here right the remaining will be the uh, the you see the four core atoms right plus four lower face and four upper face from this we will get us coordination number as 12 now the third point that is atomic packing factor similarly the case atomic packing <coughs> where we find in case of <coughs> the simple cubic the same thing is here also so the atomic packing factor here will be right how we will find out the atomic packing factor in this case so the atomic packing and that is APF that is atomic packing factor which is right 4 times n into 4 <coughs> pi by 3 uh, sorry 4 by 3 pi r cube 4 by 3 uh, 4 into 4 by 3 pi r cube right divided by the value of the unit cell how much it is that is 2 root 2 right 2 root 2 r a cube it is just I am writing here a cube right so which is equal to right if you do this calculation they will get the pi 3 root 3 then it's 3 root 2 sorry it will coming up to 0.74 so the atomic packing factor in case of face centered cubic it is coming around 0.74 okay <coughs> sorry okay you understood this will be the atomic packing factor now the next thing that is uh, now the face centered is now it is over now we'll see the body centered cubic the next that is body centered cubic the next structure will be uh, that is third number i think right it is a third number body centered body centered centered cubic see in the body centered cubic how it looks like let me this is my okay the cube structure so okay the atoms see the atoms in this the atoms are sitting here see the simple cubic plus there is one atom inside this body main it's a center you understood as similar like case of in simple cubic the all atoms are sitting and the, there is one more atom here it is in body center and for this center for this also if we calculate the one part that is a here the a will comes the a here the a if you calculate the a in this case so it will coming a will be it's coming 4 by root 3 r this is a the second the coordination number for this will be the 8 i will not do again the same thing here right the atomic packing factor for the atomic packing factor you do yourself this if you find any difficulty then i will tell you okay so the coordination number is this the atomic packing factor if you calculate this is coming 0.68 right these are the three important parameters the same similarly we will move on to the next that is uh, after this uh, body centered cubic there will be the hexagon the fourth is that is hcp the fourth is hcp that is hexagonal hexagonal close closed packed closed packing or packing hexagonal closed packing 
राईट एक्झाम क्लोज ना पॅकिंग सो सी अर इन द एक्झाम ऑफ क्लोज पॅकिंग आय ऑल आय थिंक आय हॅव शोन यू हाऊ इट लुक्स लाईक इन अवर इन माय लास्ट स्लाईड सो द द वॉट एव्हर द रिलेटेड राईट सी इन द एक्झाम ऑफ क्लोज पॅकिंग द वन थिंग इज इम्पॉर्टंट हिअर दॅट इज द ए साईड इज सेम फॉर ऑल बट द सी दॅट इज हाईट इज नॉट सेम इन एक्झाम ऑफ क्लोज पॅक राईट हिअर here if i calculate the coordination number for this right so in case of hexagonal packed okay uh, see the c by a ratio first is that is c by a ratio in right so the c by c by c by a ratio okay as this a and c sides are not same see suppose here this is my hexagonal packed right 1 2 3 4 5 6 yes now this is what the vertical side right so so in the hexagonal right so the at the corner the, the atoms are sitting here like this right along with this on this face on this alternate face there are again atoms are sitting right they are bonded with each other this is how the hexagonal see this will be my a side right and this will be the c which is the height so in this case the a right a by c there is a ratio which is given as that is 1.63 right and the coordination number for this that is second number that is a coordination number which is equal to uh, it's it's uh, coming at 12 coordinate numbers right and the atomic packing factor is same as in case of fcc right the atomic atomic packing factor which is equal to 0.74 this is the atomic packing factor for the hexagonal closed pack i think you guys understood everything now so so after this uh, see in the periodic table if you look this right so how it looks like in the periodic table you uh i request you guys right please see these all uh, the structure which now we have seen the four types of the structure we have discussed now right that is one is simple cubic in the periodic table periodic table i request you please watch the periodic table and in all periodic table how it looks like all this structure that is simple cubic face centered cubic the third one is that is body centered cubic and the fourth one is the hexagonal closely packed closed up packing structure right i request you see most of the metals right like iron magnesium chromium right vanadium molybdenum this comes okay the iron they have this comes under this bcc right at room temperature the iron let me iron that is fe fe mn right chromium this all comes under this vanadium in bcc structures the hexagonal close up packed structures are these are okay these are like uh there are many also examples i will request you guys please look into the see even this uh, uh, this okay uh, that is uh, see the hydrogen is comes under this hexagonal close packed that is hydrogen right so below the hydrogen that your periodic table whatever that is the lithium right neon argon like this uh, krypton all these gases comes under this base centered cubic okay so look into the periodic table then you will understand which comes under right see the helium argon neon also the helium also comes under this helium he helium also comes under this right so in the face center given neon right the inert gas that is neon argon krypton xenon this comes under this okay also the radon is also the gas which comes under this that is rn okay like this 
I request you guys please watch the periodic table and see which now we have structure four types of crystal structures okay in that which comes under this which not coming that thing I will request I would like to request you guys please watch in the periodic table right and the way how the periodic table with size atomic size and the, with the electron configuration how it is periodic table very beautifully play, uh, placed all the elements in the periodic table please watch that everything okay in the next class we will see the bravis lattices okay in the next class that is bravis bravis actually it is a bravis but the s yes is silent in this bravis it's the name of the scientist right so the s yes is silent but it's a bravi lattices like this it is called bravi lattices we will discuss this in the next class okay so the crystal texture part is over if you have any doubt in this please in the crystal structure the next class we are going to discuss about this bravis lattice thanks for watching please subscribe hit the like button and share with your friends okay guys thank you bye